Hello, my loves and my doves. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Kenesha. If you're not new, welcome back. I talk about luxury, lifestyle, and mindset on my channel. And today, I have a treat for us. Forgive me, you guys. I know I've been away for a long time. I didn't even come back and show you the things that I got at Woodbury Outlet. So what I'm gonna do is go back and do these videos for you all and lease them from all the things that has been happening this year while I've been gone. Cause the last time I made a video, I think has been, it's been months. So the other thing I wanted to say to get out of the way is I have so many giveaways for you guys. I have so much to give away. Please forgive me, you guys. It's been crazy making this transition from leaving this job that I've been working at forever to now just doing whatever I want until I figure out what I want to do next. So please forgive me. It's I have got to get my new setup going. As you can see, this is a different background and I still have things that I'm doing, but I have videos that are coming out that are going to talk a little bit about non-related shopping, more mindset focused. But in the meantime, I have a treat for us. I have a treat for us because the new bags are out or coming and you guys, I could not stay away, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> guys, before we get into this unboxing, let me show you a sign. I believe in signs. I believe this is a sign. I'm gonna show you a picture. Now look at this cover. What do you see? Do you see what I see? I see a double rainbow. This book came with what I'm about to unbox. This must be a sign, right? It's gotta be a sign, right? It's gotta be a keeper. <laughs> let's see how this goes. So let's get into this unboxing together. I wanted to show you guys and I just got to tell you, you guys are going to have to help me figure out the things that I will be keeping because I did order several pieces and this is the first one that came in. So I really was curious about this new piece. It's the high rise bum bag. I also ordered the mini bum bag and I'll do a review on that when I get it. But the reason why I ordered the high rise is because if you are new to my channel or if you're not new, you can go back into the archives. I had a bun bag before. I had the original bun bag and I loved it. And when they came out with this bun bag, I immediately wanted to try it out because it resembles the original bun bag. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit smaller. It's a little bit flatter, which I really love and appreciate, but it has the same dimensions that I really love on the old bun bag, but it's a little bit flatter and I know a lot of people were saying, oh, it's ugly. I don't really like this luggage tag. What about all this maqueta, this machete? You guys, I love it. Look at this big pull tag. We're gonna go through the details of this little piece, but look at this big pull tag. I love when I can fit my finger, my whole first finger through the pull tag because then I don't have to be touching the machete to mess that up. So I just wanna already start pointing out some of the pros and cons that I'm seeing. And we're gonna go through and take a look at this piece. So if you are into that and you're looking forward to more, then stay tuned, like, and subscribe. There's more goodness on the way. All right, let's get into it. So I had bought the last bum bag. Now let me tell you what happened to my last bum bag, okay? In case you missed it, go back and get the story because it's a good one. But it cracked and y'all should go ahead and take a look at that. Now, what I am seeing on this bum bag, because it's a very similar structure, I, you got the triangle stitching happening where the D-ring connects on both sides, which is like the old bum bag. And I love that there's a flat pocket on the back. That's what the mini bum bag is missing, is a pocket on the back, Louis Vuitton. Give me all the functionality, Louis Vuitton. Stop taking it away from me. The difference on this bum bag that I think is a takeaway is that the interior lining is a cream color Louis Vuitton. It should have been black like the other version. However, we're gonna see what we think. It's got LV 
stitching on the inside. It's got like the little fleur de lis and the LB engravement embroidery on the inside. But I can already tell it will hold a foam, which is all I care about. I also care about it not getting dirty. So we'll see. Oh goodness. Now, let's take at the front. Let's take a look at the top. You can already see it's a smaller profile than the original bun bag, but I love that. I love that. It's still the whole length. It's still the whole same size of the original bun bag, but it's a smaller profile. It's a little bit flatter and it's gonna sit on your body a lot more comfortably. Now, I really appreciate that. A lot of people were saying, whoa, what about this tag on the front, Louis Vuitton? What's that all about? Who cares? Take it off. Put something else on there if it bothers you. What about all this fachetta? You know I'm a fachetta lover. I cannot say I disagree with the fachetta. I think it's beautiful. Do I believe it belongs here on the opening where you're gonna be touching and grabbing all the time? Who knows, who cares? At this point, guys, if you're buying these expensive bags, what are you complaining about? Just enjoy it. Life is short. That's how I feel, that's how I feel. Now let's take a look at the interior. So this strap is removable, that is, the different upgrade that they wanted to give us they took away some space unfortunately they give gave us one of these belts you know how i feel about these belts look at how i'm holding it that's the reason why i decided to go and get a different strap to see if we can make it work because if we can't make it work with another strap this is going back i'm going back just going back that's how it works over here the other details inside are identifiers of the bag and then it's got the same white interior embroidery and i guess this one must be made in the u.s i can't stand it when we can't tell anymore where these bags are made guys i'm sorry i guess this one must be made in the u.s because that says paris it doesn't say made in France. If it was made in France or made in Italy or made in Spain, it would say. All right. So just a heads up on that. I'm already going to tell you I'm not a fan of these. What do they call these? What do they call these straps? I'm not a fan of these straps. What do they call these straps, y'all? That you see, because concussion is still happening. But you know what I decided to do? I decided to go pull out the strap to my Odeon, which is very similar to the strap from the prior bum bag, which was nice and thick, but non-detachable. Because if I'm gonna keep this bag and wear it at all, I'm gonna tell you right now, it won't be with that other jackard, jackard strap, jacquard strap. It will not be with that, my friends. No, sorry, they wouldn't be. However, you see what's starting to come to life? You see it now? Do you see the vision? Do you see the vision coming to life? You see it, don't you? Yes, we are in love. <laughs> we are in like. <laughs> we are very much in like right now. And you know what? We might even be in love. We might be. We really might be, y'all. So let's see. Let's see because we still gotta put things in there. You know, I'm an all or nothing kind of girl. It's all or nothing. Some people were wearing their bum bags like this on their shoulders. I guess you could do it, but honestly, the best way for me is this way. This is just perfect. Do you see that? I love it. Flat, wrapped around your waist, if that's what you want. Flat, wrapped around your back, if that's what you want flat against your tummy if that's what you want if y'all are looking for it to be around my waist it, i would never wear it like that i'm just letting it be known that's not my style now time for us to fill her up y'all all right time for us to fill her up now i've been carrying this pochette accessoire i kid you not all daggone summer long so let's just start to move some things over because I don't have a lot in here, but if I can carry whatever is in here, inside of here, it might be a keeper. And I've been wanting a new bum bag, which of course now I'm gonna have to wait for the mini bum bag to see if that one's a keeper. 
So we're gonna see which one we're gonna keep. And you guys might as well start putting your votes in, start putting your votes in so that we know what is the deal for when the other one comes in and we gotta do a comparison and see what decision we're gonna make. Wow, plenty of room, plenty of space. I am in love, I'll be love. <laughs> All right, put some keys in, put some gum in, put in the lip balm, put in the hand sanitizer, cause you know, COVID is on the rise. In case you didn't know, now you know, it is back up. And wow, look at that. We are good. I don't even have to touch the bachetta. I think you all should know that right now, this pull tab is so big. <laughs> you don't have to touch the bachetta. If you were worried about messing that up, I would take that off the list. I don't think there's a concern there. Pull it up by the lip, reach in, get what you need, and go about your business. Plenty of space for your phone. This bum bag, I think, is a great upgrade because the problem that I had with my last bum bag, go back and see the video, was it cracked on both sides of where the tab, where the triangles are stitched here. And I ended up having to take it in for repair in order to see if they could do something about it. What they did about it was gave me not a refund, but they allowed me to exchange it for something else at the time. And then I was trying at the time to get a replacement bum bag, but I'm actually okay with not having it because you know the other thing that started to happen? You guys tell me how you feel about this, but I started to see that bum bag everywhere, okay? So at least now we have an upgraded version of the bum bag. Now I love this pleating detail on the front. I love that. I love that it's still literally the same length of the original bum bag. It is a smaller profile. We'll put and insert the dimensions here, but it is the same length and it still has the back pocket and you can still fit so much inside. I think in the other bum bag, what I'll say about the larger size was I could definitely fit a full size wallet but at this point, I'm into smaller bags, smaller profiles, smaller wallets. So I wouldn't really want that larger bag anyway. I was put it on with all our stuff in it. Are we ready to go shopping? I mean, we just went shopping. Are we ready to go to the park? Yes, we are ready for the amusement park. I'm an amusement park kind of girl. Take me to the movies, take me to the amusement park. You know what I'm saying? So this is perfect for an outing like that not to get splashed on because let me tell you, the con is if you get this facetta wet before you go and tan it, y'all, you are done. If you don't like watermarks and stains on your facetta, you better let this bad boy rest. Put it out in the window, let it tan for a good while until you have it to the level of perfection that you're looking for. But if you try to go out there now because it's so raw, it's so new, you're gonna have a problem. This hand strap is good. Look at that. I'm holding it like it's going to be a shoulder bag and it's like dipping in. I really like that. The vachetta is soft. That's a good thing. So I think that this strap looks perfect with this bag. It is a strap to the Odeon and I love that bag and I love the strap and I love the original vachetta strap to the original bum bag. So this makes it feel perfect to me. I gotta be honest, I doubt I will ever use this strap. And the reason why I know that is because I have the Diane and I never use the pink checkered strap, ever. We don't know what we're gonna do about it. But what I will say is at this point, this bag gets, um, I think I'll give it, because I never give 10 stars, you can't do that. We'll give it an eight out of 10. I don't really know why I wouldn't give it a nine yet but maybe I'm holding out because I'm just like a hard judge, a harsh critic, but it's definitely up there, you guys, and I don't think it's ugly at all. If you like the original bum bag, I don't see how you could think that this bum bag is ugly just because of the design of the fichetta and the tag. This is an extra piece that they're giving us. If you don't like it, take it off, put something else there, or just take it off and have the D-ring thing there. They had previously on the last bum bag, the D-ring on the bottom here. I could never figure out why. What did people put there? So the fact that now there's a, a D-ring here and there's a tag here makes a lot more sense to me. 
If you don't like the look of it, take it off. They've been giving us a little additions anyway, so you might as well just go with it. Well, all in all, this was my quick little review that I'm gonna come on here and just say, I think this is a keeper, you guys. I think it's a keeper, but you're gonna tell me. Those of you who have the mini bum bag, tell me what you think. Those of you who have the high rise, tell me what you think. Those of you who have the original bum bag, what do you think? All right, so thank you if you're with me to the end. I hope you enjoyed this little video and welcome back to my channel, y'all. Welcome back, welcome back to my channel. Like and subscribe, go over and follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok and subscribe here to my channel on YouTube. I appreciate you for watching and until the next time, I got more unboxings lined up on more to come. I gotta go back into the archives and show you guys like where we went, where what did I do this summer, what did I buy from Woodbury Outlets? There's so much for us to talk about. Come on, community, get re-engaged, y'all. Let's go. I know I've been gone for a little bit, but I'm back now. All right. If you are with me to the end, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Stay tuned till next time, and I will see you soon. Take care.